Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul. I'm a watchman on the wall sounding the alarm from Northern California on today, a Wednesday, May 20th, 2015 at 9.23 a.m. And that's Pacific Standard Time. I cite fair use of this information for teaching, critiquing, and educating others of things that are to come that will have a great effect on millions if not billions of lives okay so first of all i, I want to this there's so many confirmations i i don't know how to convey the urgency within me to others that don't know me how do i convey what god is showing me this week to others with So I have to pray for confirmations. Now it was, this began on Monday. I began to see these signs. It's, it's three, seven for me and seven, three. It, this is what God showed me in July 5th, 2012 was a sign to me from God. And I know people are going to have trouble believing that God can show you signs. I understand that. But uh, it's throughout the Bible where he showed people things. A burning bush, I mean, right off the bat. So, you know, I'm, I'm okay if you disagree with that. But I know what I'm called here to do. I have never received more signs this week of, 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 of caution, a warning, sound the alarm trumpet ever in my life than this week. And so... Yesterday, Tuesday, 519, the Lord had me looking at Germany, and I was looking at Nuremberg and, and the Germany area. Now, I've heard that word, but um, I drilled it down on, on Google Earth, was praying over it and everything, so, and then, I, you know, I've been researching the United Nations, so I'm just going to flow in real time. This is on live right now, and I just clicked it on, and it is who? Germany live. So. Could be coordinated by existing bodies such as COPEC, the Committee for the Promotion and Advancement of Cooperatives, and the UN Task Force for the Social and Solidarity Economy. I thank you for your attention. I thank you, uh, Rodrigo. All right, uh, let's listen to uh, Ms. Tsega uh, Medhin. Uh, uh, the Pearl Leadership Institute as part of the International Chamber of Commerce, Pearl. Uh, Sega, it's, it's yes. over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency, distinguished guests. I am Sega Medhin, Executive Director of the Pearl Leadership Institute, and I'm here on behalf of business industry. And we welcome the idea of building bridges. Our focus and recommendation... Uh, I'm not here to play this whole thing. I was just looking for some confirmation in this. Uh, I'm, so, look, after I played that live and just wanted to show you this is happening right now. It's called Intergovernmental Negotiations on the Post-2015 Development Agenda, 18th through the 22nd of May, 2015. And... Uh, let, let me uh, let me show you how I got there, but I wanted to get that Germany part in. It's live, real time. As a watchman on the wall, the Lord has showed me many things. This is my second channel. That's why there's a two behind it. Um, because the first one was brought down by an evil agenda. And so I started again. Let's go back to July 11th. 2012 there's so many things I want to show you the Lord had told me to start watching uh, Barack Obama's executive orders and I had made this video another Obama executive order World War three Antichrist tribulation earthquakes this was uh, approximately three years ago and how the, and I started watching this how these UN monitors were able to get an, an American fired right here in America this was also 2012 and 
And someone had blessed me to translating all of these messages that were warnings into Spanish. I mean, even in, in Mexico, uh, was reaching 269 people just in Spanish alone. So, and so the, God, the Lord had called me. Let's look at this video. I want to show you something. This might take a while to get to my point, but that's just how my videos run. The Lord had told me, look, palm scanners in schools and hospitals. This was in 2012. The Lord had told me to start watching the UN. And this was the top story on Drudge was... It, it looked to me, it looks like a rifle scope, you know, directly on the world with these uh, uh, wheat, these wheat right here. So let's see what I had to say. Haven't watched this in a while. And you can see I was watching Harp too and reading Isaiah 13 and monitoring earthquakes. Again, just looking for some confirmations here. Good afternoon, this is Minister Paul. Everybody take a look at that seal of the United Nations. God said he's going to separate the wheat from the tares. Just remember that seal and see the tank in the middle? United Nations eyes control of the internet, and we all know they're eye in control of our uh, firearms. Mm. And look at all these stories. I'm going to put it microchips and firearms, okay? Everybody know that I just come on here and hit record. I don't plan ahead. But uh, remember that microchips and firearms because that is the perfect confirmation of what I wanted to show you. There, There's many videos on that, but I'm going to put a link to this one. When I put in the DNA change, the latest video that pops up is January 22nd. Pharrell Williams and Al Gore are going to meet. And, and to summon the power of the Antichrist. I believe this is also in September. September seems to be the month where it is literally jumping off. And the number of views, look, 1 6 is a 7 and 3. 7 3, this is just a continuing pattern. Look at this confirmation on this dream I had of Great Tribulation and American Airlines. Look, 1 6, 1 2, it is also a 7 3. Now, this is the one that I want to kind of drill down because I remember this dream as if it was yesterday. Um, this was about DNA change. And this was when my account was under restrictions because of uh, strikes, false flags and stuff. I can only make 15 minute videos, so I would have to trim them. Now, let's, let, let's talk about DNA change. For a minute before I go further. In John 3.16 it says. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. That who should ever believe in him would not perish. But have everlasting life. In, in 17 says. Because God sent not his son to the world to condemn the world. But through, the, but through him he might be saved. Through who? Through Jesus. So God sends... Uh, uh, human form down here and Mary and Joseph are uh, are going to get married watch this they're going to get married and an angel appears to Mary and tells her she's going to be pregnant and then Joseph's tripping because what do you mean you know because you had to be a virgin and um, and the angel then came also for those who believe that messenger angels just left, well, where would they go to? I mean, <laughs> um, they're still here is what I'm saying. Messenger angels told them, don't worry, she's, she's pregnant by the Holy Ghost. Now, now, okay, so who was, who, what DNA, and I, I've, I've just been fascinated by this for years and I don't talk about it often. What DNA did Jesus walking earth as a human have? If he didn't have any biological father. Well I submit to you. And this is my opinion. That he had the DNA of God within him. But yet he was a human. And people would come around. And, and this he, he would activate this every now. You would see it. He'd be like. Look don't you understand. If you've seen me. You've seen the father. Because I and the father are one. He had the DNA of God in him. But but he was he was 100% man. 100% God. And it's hard to comprehend. He had God's DNA in him. Now, 
on the human aspect of it, he cried, Jesus wept, he hungered, Jesus hungered, he slept, um, he prayed, he prayed to God the Father, and and uh, he died, but then also he rose again because God was in him. He he needed to be uh, he needed to be baptized. And, he need, and when he was baptized, he, did, he needed to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. When John the Baptist baptized him, uh, he received the Holy Ghost. So he needed everything like as a human being that, that we needed in a sense. You know, he fasted, he prayed. I don't want to get long-winded on this, but... So he's walking around with God's DNA in him. Now, the Bible I read teaches that that we are created in his image after his own likeness and that that Christ is inside us so and then that we were are what born again right a matter of fact he told Nicodemus Nicodemus said how can I enter in the kingdom of heaven he said well ye must be born again must you you have to be born again so I submit to you it says you are new creatures in Christ Jesus you have the mind of Christ uh, the old man has passed away behold Behold, uh, all things are new. So let me let me submit to you. If you are born again into the kingdom of God as Jesus inside of you, then what DNA do you now have? I submit to you as my opinion, you have the DNA of Jesus Christ in you. Now, now let, let, I mean, I know I do. You can believe whatever you want to believe. I know that I when I was born again, I received the very DNA of Christ in me, my hope and my glory. It changed my whole life. It was life changing. I'm a different person. So now, when we when we speak of the United Nations, I believe that Obama and the United Nations are bringing Bible prophecy to a conclusion. That's why there's an urgency in this. So when the when the restrainer stops restraining, and the bride of Christ is taken out of here, and then the, the man of sin, the son of perdition, rises up and he says, I'm Christ, and he, and he demands you take this mark, a, a RFID chip. I've made several videos on this over the last year or two about how it would change your DNA. <clears throat> well, whose DNA would you then have when you make Satan your Lord and Savior? Well, I submit that you would have demonic DNA. And that crazy things will begin to happen and you do not want to be here. I'm sounding the alarm. So let's go further. I've been researching this uh, sustainable development thing coming up here. Again, I believe this is also in September. And we have the Pope visiting in September. And we have Yom Kippur Day of Atonement in September. Um... We have a meteor, I believe. I don't follow this too closely because I figure if a meteor is going to hit, I'll just be with Christ. But we have that coming in September and we have the fourth blood moon coming in September. And then there's a there's a partial solar eclipse right, right before that also. So we have the United Nations, and that's why I wanted to show you these videos that God was alerting me to DNA change in the, the United Nations. There's several of them. There's several of these. Executive order, RFID microchip. Um, there is an executive order on that. Dream martial law hitting close to home. UN involved in schools. Revelation, this is 2014. United Nations image and seal. Watchman alarm, the package about to be delivered. Pope Fr Francis, false prophet Obama, Antichrist. Um, let's check this out real quick. Again, I got a lot to cover. Snake Island. I don't know why that sticks in my head. Snake Island. Leading a one world government. Okay. I will try to put links to as much as I can. Well, oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Snake Island is just really sticking out. Let me see if I zoom out the map at all. It's about this thick. I seem to be focused on that area right, my arm on. right there. But Now let's continue with this. This meeting is about what? 
in September of 2015. It's the the Sustainable Development Meeting, and they are talking about, now watch this, Chapter 16 of Agenda 21, Agenda 21 being depopulation. So here you have a 7 and a 3. The same numbers the, the angel gave me to warn, time to warn. Now, what are they talking about? DNA changing. What What is biotechnology? It, I'm reading right now about DNA editing. DNA editing. Um, and I know exactly what it is, but I would want you to research in that. When it's talking about security and health care and, and food security and water supplies and... Um, global partnerships and on and on and on so this is this is just one of the things this this new world order will be meeting about to discuss and and it's going to involve dna change and the mark of the beast because the lord has already showed me that the one world government is going to be brought in through obama and the united nations i've made about 25 videos on it over the years so, to, so how did I get here? Let me show you. It's this meeting. I was just playing live video from it. UN Sustainable Development. Uh, from here, I just went, and I'm going to put a link to this also. I went to this uh, technology part, I believe it was. So I'm just going to take a look at some of these things on here. Intergovernmental I'm not gonna spend too much uh, topics. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. Okay, so I went to topics. Did everybody see how I did that? They're talking about this climate change and then uh, if you go right here, it's biotechnology. So I'm gonna put a link for you to do your own uh, Remember when I talked about the schools? Well, education, disaster risk, uh, risk reduction, money, food security. So we have the world and the powers that be meeting to determine our future. And so now watch this. So I was looking at the United Nations headquarters. Remember I talked about remember guns and DNA? Well, there's the DNA part about it. So I started looking at pictures of the United Nations headquarters in New York. And, uh, I mean, just look at... To me, this just gives me the creep factor. But, look, is this really there? I want to ask somebody this. This is a picture of a gun being tied in a knot. Control. Gun control. And DNA change. And here's where they meet, where they have that holograph in there. Remember that holograph? Let's go up and see if we can look at that seal. It's creepy. And look what's right here again. Germany. There's going to be some confirmations coming forward on this. This is how you can get to their live thing right here. From just go to the United Nation.org. It's an organization that wants to run this world. Okay, and um, let me click in live again and closing one more time. Look, I may not sound urgent, but I am urgently sounding the alarm. I thank you, Deputy Minister, uh, for that statement. That, um, you know, uh, this issue of accountability. Um, it's an issue we've been debating here. And Let me just show you something. There, this world power who's literally here in America now and throughout all the world. See, we know that this has to be through the whole world, not just America. It's going to come through the United Nations, and they're doing it right in front of our face. <clears throat> and I know uh, the Lord has shown me Obama will work through them. If he doesn't stay for a third term he will go to the united nations that's what the lord has showed me and you know what's going to happen they're going to bring in the end of the world 
There is no longer denying that. They're going to force you to take a mark of the beast. And that's going to change your DNA. Do you understand that? And God's going to allow all this. Matter of fact, I was thinking last night before I went to bed, and I was thinking about how Germany and what Germany and America play a role in this. And I'm thinking, look how close we are. We are so close to what the Bible says is the end of days and, you know, and that things are happening and, and a lot of people, they're just angrily fighting. You know, I believe when this DNA change occurs, you will hate God and you will hate everybody. Rather than love God and love your neighbor, you're going to hate your neighbor. You're going to see fights breaking out. But are we not already seeing this now? Are we not already seeing this now? Now they want to manipulate your DNA. Now they want to put an RFID chip in you. At what point does, does people wake up and say, wait, whatever happened to freedom? Whatever happened to born free? Well, because this is what the Bible says was happening, and we're white, walking right into it. At times I'm thinking, man, how much worse could it get? You know, and, and, and people are so theological about this, you know, in a religious form that they, they say, well, I already know everything. Well, how, if God's going to allow a strong delusion and, and God is going to allow people to believe a lie, how do we know where we are at on God's timing? How do we know? How do we know how close we are? By the word of God, right? And talking about peace covenant and but what if they didn't tell us I'm just submitting to you what if they didn't tell us about a peace covenant what if they just already did it I personally know the Antichrist is already alive okay so and I already know the false prophet is on the scene trying to run this world that one that was another thing I, I, I guess this is probably gonna run 20 25 minutes but Let's go back and look at this United Nations thing here. Remember I told you how my first channel was run off? I scrolled all the way to the bottom and it says, Free and Equal Campaign. Let's celebrate the contributions that millions of lesbians, gay, bisexual, transgender, and intersex people make to families and local communities around the world. Let, let, let's not celebrate God. Let's not celebrate Jesus Christ. Let's not celebrate the sanctity of marriage. Let's take your guns and promote evil, what God calls an abomination. As you see him uh, in earthquakes going off, just destroying entire areas, tornadoes just being obliterated, nation rises against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Where is the urgency to someone to come on here and say, repent, repent, repent? Because Christ said like, like sheep to a slaughter. And I'm here to tell you that as a watchman on the wall, I don't want nobody uh, on this channel uh, being led as sheep to a slaughter blind and when, when you, you don't have to be. When I'll put as many links as I can in the description box. I don't even know what to, to call this. But one thing I do know is that the Bible is playing out page by page by page and we're running out of pages and Jesus Christ has told me to come on here and tell you, wake up! They're planning our destruction. They're planning to mark you. They're planning to imprison you. They're planning to kill you. And you are being lulled to sleep by the spirit of the Antichrist who's planned to change your DNA, mark you with the chip, and reduce the population of this world to what they want it to be. It's all happening right now. In the 70s, we'll say, well, one day that's coming, but it won't be in my lifetime. Well, I'm telling you, it's happening right now. In 2015, with uh, the Pope visiting Obama, this fourth blood moon, how can anybody say there, there's nothing to that? Watchmen and messengers are coming on here and having dreams and visions, and you know, it, and, and it's coming to pass like rapidly within a week. Yesterday, I had a dream of the snails, and I said our food supply would come under attack, and then that, and, and, and just within six hours. We, right here on the west coast in Santa Barbara, we had a major oil spill. See, people, can, they will continue to deny this, deny this, deny this, when they don't understand that it's the voice of truth talking to God's messengers because he loves you to warn you, to, and he's saying, wake up and repent, because we are eternal beings, and <clears throat> the Satan running this world wants to take you to hell. And I'm going to stand in the gap and intercede for you right now and say, no, 
Turn to Jesus. Repent. It's not worth it. Nothing is worth it. Your house, your home, your family, nothing is worth you spending eternity in hell. And that's their planning right now. They're talking about it live. <clears throat> How can we control the world? I'll keep on sounding, Lord, help us.